is the demolitions training area. First you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. There's a zoom feature in this game. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamb. Lambs placed on the walls are proximity triggered. Must have all kinds of money and just blow up fucking security bots like that. This time you will place your own lamb. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. Okay, check this out. Sending you to your doom bot. Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. Extra lamps for the demolitions area. Here, catch. <laughs> Next, you will need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamp down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. They never open. Remember this for future reference. Not real doors. Beyond the door, you can this piece of wall. You can also breach with. Excellent. Notice that the wall Excellent. is opened. Look for other weakened walls such as this, and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next side. Happy Gunter is the best Gunter. Haha. <laughs> Gotta start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are. Yeah, okay, I don't have any. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. Okay. One second. I just had to make sure everything was recording properly before I get too far in. At each of the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and to defuse it by right-clicking. A second right-click will remove the lamp from the wall. I like the ground. It's a cool texture. I 
think these are like, uh... Yeah, they're practice lamps. A word of warning, Agent Denton. This was a simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Yeah. Shut da. Now you will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Stealth is a vital component of all UNAC cooperations. When implemented correctly, stealth missions result in the lowest possible ratio of agent and civilian casualties to hostile losses. Situational awareness is key and... Agents should not only familiar with the technical opportunities offered by the immediate environment, but how these opportunities can be exploited to the advantage uh, to their advantage with appropriate equipment. Tech goggles allow agents to operate in low-light environments such as offices or labs when illumination might otherwise attract attention. Uh, with binoculars, an agent can survey an uh, opponent's uh, disposition and determine the best way to evade or eliminate. The defenses, a rifle or crossbow equipped the scope, and silencing modifications can be used to uh, inter interdict targets with a considerable distance, significantly compromising hostile resistances. Other features in the environment can also be used by an agent to enhance their ability to operate covertly or create useful distractions. Disabling security cameras, subverting auto guns, and reprogramming bots are all viable tactics employed by experienced agents in the field. Okay. Sneaking is always mind numbing even when it's practice. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. safe here or not. Guess I'll find out soon. Yep. The guards can be distracted. Pick up and throw an object near them and they will go investigate the noise. Bottles, plants, flasks, many things will work. Hang on, I heard something. Always remember the four basic tactics to avoid detection. Crouch behind concealment. Stay behind enemies. Move slowly to avoid making noise. And use shadows to conceal yourself. Be alert to every possibility. you remember this lesson, Agent. They have signed us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. 
Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Careful around this TNT. You can pick up the boxes and move them around, but crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. Across the water. I don't know. 